have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. It appears that the, there is more and more fire and smoke enveloping the very top of the building. And as fire crews are descending on this area, it, it, it does not appear that there's any kind of a, an effort up there yet. Now remember, oh my God. Oh my God. That looks like a second plane. Dear Lord, just I didn't see a plane there. No way that a plane could have destroyed two of the world's largest towers. He joins me now from our studio in New York. Hi, Michael. So you say that you have new evidence that Hi. the World Trade Center collapse was not, in fact, caused by an airplane crash. What kind of evidence are we talking about here? Well, we've all seen the, the planes, uh, video footage of the planes hitting the towers, but the actual uh, collapse mechanism is, is not quite that clear. Uh, new evidence that uh, has come uh, from an international team of investigators includes uh, nanothermite material, which is basically uh, made only by military industry, uh, has been found in dust samples taken uh, throughout the World Trade Center site. And let's not forget, there were three buildings that collapsed today, uh, on September 11, 2001, uh, one of which, which was not even hit by a plane. Uh, there's also evidence that was not included in uh, the official uh, reports of the United States government. Uh, the FEMA report, the NIST report, uh, they don't even uh, bring into evidence a molten steel that was found in the basements of all three towers. And there's no, there's no explanation for molten steel. Carbon-based fiber uh, fires do not burn that hot to to actually create molten steel that was found in all three towers. So, you know, some of the evidence is new and some of the evidence has just been ignored uh, by the official United States report. About 10 days after 9-11, I went through the Pentagon and I saw Secretary Rumsfeld and, and Deputy Secretary Wolfowitz. I went downstairs just to say hello to some of the people on the joint staff who used, used to work for me. And one of the generals called me and he said, sir, you gotta come in, you got to come in and talk to me a second. I said, well, you're too busy. He said, no, no. He says, we've made the decision we're going to war with Iraq. This was on or about the 20th of September. I said, we're going to war with Iraq. Why? He said, I don't know. <laughs> he said, I guess they don't know what else to do. So uh, I said, well, did they find some information collect connecting Saddam to Al-Qaeda? He said, no, no. He says, there's nothing new that way. They just made the decision to go to war with Iraq. He said, I guess it's like we don't know what to do about terrorists, but we've got a good military and we can take down governments. And um, he said, I guess if... If the only tool you have is a hammer, every problem has to look like a nail. So I came back to see him a few weeks later, 
And by that time, we were bombing in Afghanistan. I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? And he said, oh, it's worse than that. He said, he reached over on his desk, he picked up a piece of paper, and he said, I just, he said, I just got this down from upstairs, meaning the Secretary of Defense's office today, and he said, this is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off. records were never audited and never accounted for. Their family commissioned biographies give the illusion that their family fortune has dwindled, but researchers estimate their wealth at close to $500 trillion, more than half the wealth of the entire world. Vice President of the ECB is in as Premier. Does Greece now have a fighting chance in the doom and gloom of today's economic mood? Um, I really don't think so. Uh, I think we have to turn the clock back to the uh, original uh, collapse of the world economy because uh, th this was no accident. It was a very well-planned exercise by the New World Order uh, who have the ability to close down any company or any country at will and uh, as we know, Ireland uh, became a victim, Portugal, and now Greece, and uh, apparently Spain and Italy are likely to follow. Um, it really doesn't matter who's in power. Uh, this concept and what it means to you well throughout history men of power have seeked to bring together the world under one government and they've called this the new world order whether this the new world order what this the new world order what this the new